Welcome, welcome. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? <laughs> Probably not, but hey, you're here now, so thank you. Um, now let's get right into it. So where the F for all the other build videos? So the answer is much more than I'm lazy, and it ties together with a broader discussion on the TC. For those who may be unaware, the TC is the test center, which 2038 is based on. So the short answer then would be, it's unsustainable. Rather, it's subject to change. The long answer would be, the TC was in a state of flux. Way too many things are subject to change, for it to be safe for me to make videos on the other classes, without running the risk of having to delete and or remake them when said changes come about. Now, what are said changes? Okay, uh, two notes before we proceed. Number one. Feel free to check the description below for a more in-depth, albeit still incomplete, overview of the TC. I've included links to two analyses I've written on the matter which may provide useful context. And number two, a huge disclaimer. Nothing being discussed from this point forward is set in stone to change, nor is it in any way necessarily scheduled to be tweaked by the 2038 team. This is all nothing but me highlighting the incomplete assets of the TC, as they've been brought forth by testers and during my own digging round. So this is no spoiler into the future of 2038, not necessarily anyway. So let's take it class by class. Evokers. The class is mostly fine, save for some arguable overtune. Uh, Kabbalists in particular do have two main questionable relics in their hands though, no pun intended. Um, number one, the TC set. Feral gear provides insane bonuses and questionable drawbacks. That's mostly fine in itself, but it does cause an odd transformation. Not unlike the Templar TC set in that regard. And number two, rip shards. Those things are monstrous. Not only were they most probably designed with DF summoners in mind, they're also almost test gear level powerful. Absolutely bonkers, best in slot and other descriptive terms. Uh, Blade Masters. Now this class... Uh, <sighs> Sort of Justice is the one button cheese the game. There should be no discussion on that front. Uh, that aside, the TC saw major balances to the class in an attempt to make it more powerful. Clearly they did a great job. Uh, arguably too much so, to the point where the class offers too much for too little. Marksman. On the low end then, Marksman did suffer at the hands of the TC. An underwhelming set, very few viable weapons, a broken sniper tree, broken being used loosely in this context anyway, and a camouflage that apparently feels too clunky for most people. Frankly, the class has to devolve into a who's bullet sprayer, and that seems wrong. Engineers and summoners. Now, those two are fucked. I'm sorry, no two ways about it. Uh, both of those classes are fundamentally, conceptually, and unarguably fucked. For different reasons, of course, but... Uh, neither class can function in the way it was designed, around minions. Engineer minions are underwhelming or half-baked, and summoner minions are unsustainable and indistinguishable, not to mention more fragile than origami in a cosmic cyclone. That's a tad poetic. Uh, anywho, lastly, two major class-independent factors. Number one, shrapnel. This thing ruins creation. There's powerful, then there's oh fuck that's strong, and then there's shrapnel. This thing was not brought down to earthly levels or performance in the TC, to the point where most classes can forsake their actual design and use shrapnel with high rate of fire weapons to better effect. And number two, CCM. That's critical chance multiplier, by the way. Uh, this is another property that the TC had started to nerf down, but never fully addressed. I did set up a poll about it a while back, by the way, which you can still refer to. Link in the description. But the crux of the CCM issue is, it allows an unnatural state, almost unique to Hellgate. Classes can crit cap. Coupled with insane CDB values, that's critical damage bonus, uh, built with 95% crit chance and 1 to 2k CDB are attainable. And in my humble opinion, yes, that's a problem. Hell, just look at how it turned out for Global. Of course, there's other issues and bits that may make the current state even less stable, balance-wise. And again, that's not to say that any of these things will necessarily change. This was a list of factors that 
might change, given their objectionable nature, and thus make making guide videos unsafe. So uh, that should be all. I sincerely hope I'll be able to provide some more uh, cheerful updates in the very near future, uh, as development has been going well. Uh, please make sure to hit the bell button, speaking of, as I've been informed that people may not be notified when I upload. Which I rarely do, so you might want to be informed. Anywho, um, as always, thank you so much for watching.